Hey guys, my name is Dan. Uh, I first want to start out by saying thank you to 100 Lyric uh, for making the video entitled Easy Ways to Remember DNA Viruses, which inspired me to make this video, Easy Ways to Remember RNA Viruses. And I'll post a link to her video down here. It's a really good way to remember all the DNA viruses, the structures, uh, good mnemonic devices. Uh, I'm briefly going to show you her um, mnemonic device, and then I'm going to adapt it to, uh, for our purposes. And we have 16 RNA viruses to go through, so here we go. The 100 Lyrics video starts with a guy with a backwards hat, and the backwards hat is going to be covering everything underneath the hat is going to be uh, envelope, everything outside the hat is going to be non-envelope. Okay, so first of the envelope viruses is the herpes virus, which is on top of the hat. Envelope, we got our hepatinovirus on the outside, and hepatina is semicircular in shape, which is why it's not a full circle over here, which is our Popova virus. And if you notice, the Popova virus is outside of the hat, so this is not on the Pox virus is close in proximity to the hat, and parvovirus is sim uh, single-stranded, it's going to be the mouth, and adenovirus, which causes pharyngitis, is going to be on the neck. Okay, and I'm not going to go any further than that. But basically, we have this guy with a hat, and it's going to show us the structures that are enveloped and not enveloped. So I'm going to run with that and make a bigger, bigger hat, guys, so everyone can see. Uh, backwards hat. Okay, and I'm going to do this. Look at my neck. And I'm going to draw one big ear outside here. And it looks kind of like a Dumbo ear because we have four viruses to put on it. And these four viruses, you guessed it, these are going to be our non enveloped viruses. And the first one, we're just going to go right ahead and draw it. It's going to be double stranded, linear, and it has 10 to 12 segments. Okay, and this one is called our real virus. And for anyone who wants to follow along with me in the first aid uh, from the 2014 version, this is the page 161. So double-stranded, and let's pretend like this guy is uh, some type of like badass or something. I don't know if I can curse on here, but this guy's a, this guy's a DAMF. He's got two uh, linear stranded earrings here, and it's 10 to 12 segments. So that's our real virus. Okay. Okay, the next virus we're going to talk about is the picornavirus. And picornavirus is also going to be single-stranded. We're going to give them another linear bar, uh, picorna. And later on in the video, I'll talk about a little bit in depth of these viruses so we can know what they are and what they do and what's part of the classes. But for now, I'm just going to show you where they are in relation to the hat guy, and then later I'll talk about it. Okay? So, one real, two picorna. Next, three, is going to be happy virus. And the hepi virus is also, you guessed it, going to be single, uh, it's going to be single stranded, linear, and there we go, three hepi. All right, and the last virus for all of you uh, Game of Thrones fans is the Khaleesi virus. And the Khaleesi virus, unfortunately, is kind of pretty boring, not really much going on there. The only one in the class is the Norwalk virus, which you can get on uh, cruise ships, and it makes you throw up and it's vomit and you know it's not very pleasant but uh, anyway that's going to be our Khaleesi virus okay and the other thing I like to do is just draw five fourths on the ear to remind us that we have five strands but only representing four viruses okay so here's our four um, non enveloped viruses outside of the ear the next virus on the list is the flavivirus and for anyone who knows anyone with uh, some facial hair or something, you might know that a uh, flavor saver is going to be the little beard over here. And it's going to be also linear, so we're going to give him a little linear flavor saver to represent our Flavy virus, okay? So number five is Flavy virus, okay? And I'm going to put a C in the middle of this for now until we get to the end where I'll insert A, B, and uh, D. But basically, the C is going to represent the Hep C virus, which is in the Flavivirus class. And the next virus is going to be Toga virus. And obviously, the best thing to use for the Toga virus is a Toga. Okay? So we're going to draw him Toga. He's, uh, not only is he a badass, he's got all these earrings, he's got a flavor saver. He also went to a frat party. He's got a Toga. There's a little Roman guy on it with a little hat. And six is going to be... Toga. 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 Okay. 
Uh, next is going to be the retrovirus. And the retrovirus, we have our HTLV, uh, human T cell leukemia, and then we got HIV AIDS, right? <coughs> so retroviruses, when I think of retro, I think of wearing like a retro backwards hat or something like that. And everyone knows that the retro hats uh, have these little like Velcro-y things with the buttons, right? So we're going to draw this guy a retro hat with buttons. And because nobody wears these kind of hats anymore, this is going to be retro. And this is going to be our number seven. And because I live in Tel Aviv right now, um, HTLV, we're just going to put a TLV, or I heart Tel Aviv, because Tel Aviv is great, right? And there's been rockets fired now, but that's, this isn't a political video, this is an mRNA, this is an RNA virus video, and so that's our retrovirus. The next class is going to be the coronavirus. <coughs> and up until now, everything has been icosahedral in the capsid symmetry. And from now on, everything is going to be helical. And I forgot just one more thing to mention, the uh, HTLV, this is going to be partially icosahedral for uh, HTLV, and it's going to be conical for HIV. So from now on, everything is going to be helical shaped, and I'll try to uh, illustrate that in the, the rest of the drawings. Um, okay, so coronavirus, best thing to use, bottle of Corona, right? So this guy is going to be drinking a beer, and he's going to be holding it like this, uh, okay. Uh, okay, it's a little bit big. It looks kind of like a wine bottle, but whatever. It's, you guys get the idea. He's drinking a Corona at the frat party, wearing his toga, and his arm. We're going to make it a little bit interesting. His, his arm is going to be a helix to remind us that coronavirus, Corona, and then whatever you can find your beach, whatever the hell you want to remember for coronavirus, Corona. All right, it's helical shape, corona, uh, enveloped, but, you know, it, it's still underneath the hat, so that uh, it's going to be enveloped. And the next, we're going to talk about orthomixo. <coughs> so for the orthomixo, we're going to use the other ear, and we're going to draw it in the shape of an eight. Why are we drawing it in the shape of an eight? Because it's going to be eight segments long. Okay, so orthomixo is going to be single-stranded, and starting from the orthomixo, we're going to have negative-stranded. Everything up until this point has been positive stranded, which means that it doesn't need to uh, replicate its mRNA. Uh, it doesn't need to translate it to the, uh, the reading sen uh, the right sense. And now everything else is going to come with its own uh, extra enzyme to try and make it a, um, a better, to be able to read the DNA, uh, the RNA, excuse me. All right, so orthomixo, it's going to have a big negative sign in the middle. And I'll draw two to remind you guys. And the next virus is going to be paramixo virus which is also single-stranded, negative, nonlinear. And w I just like to, you know, put a little P here for all you guys that remember Orgo, and Orgo is pretty terrible, but uh, no offense, uh, Dr. Kissling. But uh, para is an ortho para. Para comes off of this side. If you guys remember a little bit of Orgo, uh, the para is going to be, ortho para is going to be like this, like all the other sides, and then, uh, okay, you guys get the idea. So para is coming off, an ortho mixo is there. And the next virus is the rhabdomyovirus, the rhabdovirus, and rhabdovirus, this is going to be our rabies virus. And the rabies is transmitted uh, most commonly by the bat. So I love Batman, so I'm going to put a picture of a bat on top of the hat. And it's going to have a negative sign in the middle, and that's going to remind us that uh, rhabdovirus is going to be negative sense. It's going to be helical shaped. Uh, I don't know if you could tell maybe by the, we can do this. Okay, this is going to be our bat. He's going to have a helical shape underneath, and he's going to be our rhabdovirus. Uh, the next one's going to be the filovirus. And the filovirus, I didn't really have any other better way to do this, but we're just going to give him one of these cartoon face... Uh, we're going to give him one of these cartoon face mouths. That's going to have an F on it for filo. And the last two, are, uh, the last three are going to be A, B, D. Make life easy for us, okay? And he's going to have two eyes, A, B, and a D, the nose, okay? So A is going to be our arena virus, and we're going to give him two eyelashes to, never, to show us that it's two segments. B is going to be bunya virus, we're going to give him three eyelashes, and D is going to be our delta virus. And these are all circular, so that's going to show us that these are single-stranded circular, two segments, three segments, uh, un, and we don't really know what the hep D virus is, but 
here's all 16 of the virus, RNA viruses, and in the next video I'm going to talk a little about what's in each class and what they do. Thank you.